Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. Um, today I've decided that I wanted to do some Final Cut Pro 10 training videos. Just real basic stuff for people who are new to the application. Um, if you're someone who's used the application before or have used other video editing um, software, you probably not find this series hugely helpful. But if someone who's very new and who's finding it really overwhelming, don't quite understand how the application works, don't know where to start, then I'm hoping this basic training series is going to be very useful for you. So in this first video, I decided that I would go over the application overview of it, what you see on the screen at the minute, what each section is, and also show you how to import your footage into Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get straight into it. Here we've got Final Cut Pro 10 opened up, the application. Along this side, we've got the event library. And the event library is any footage you've uh, imported in it will drop under an event or it will come under one of the events. It usually does it in date order, but if you wish you can name these events. So for example, if I go to the beach and I do some recordings at the beach, when I import them into Final Cut Pro, I can then name it beach and it will keep all that footage from that day organised in that event. Then on a second day, say I go to a football match and take some recordings at a football match, when I import that, it will be under another event. I can call that, obviously, football match. And it's a way to just organise all your footage. Next up we've got the media browser. So basically this allows me to look at any media I've got in each event. So in this event, my media, I've just got my uh, video intro from my YouTube channel. Obviously if I had more footage, it would be more than one clip in here. Next up, we've got the viewer, which basically allows me to view any of my clips from the browser. So I'm skimming through this here. As I skim through, I can see it larger in the viewer. Or any footage I put into my timeline, I will be able to view in here. If you've got a second monitor, you can actually put the viewer into the second monitor in a bigger screen. Or if you wish, you can just hit this and it will be full screen. So it allows you to see your moving full screen very useful. Then at the bottom we've got the timeline and this is basically the movie you're creating. You drag all your clips into this section and you basically can create your movie. Add your trans transitions, add your text, add your effects etc. So this is the timeline down at the bottom. Um, you can work on more than one project at a time so basically work on one, more than one movie at a time. As you can see I'm just working on one project called test but if I want I can add another project etc so I can work on multiple projects at once. Also very important I think and is this button up here and the button is I and it's the inspector. I open the inspector if I say click, click on a video clip it gives me more options in the inspector so normally this inspector is hidden which is something you're probably going to have open a hell of a lot because it's very useful. So I've got more inf information on the video and it also lets me change some settings, same with the audio and then some more information settings where I can add information and read the information on the video clip. When you start using your effects and so on um, you have a lot more options in the inspector but at the minute we've not used no effects so it's just standard stuff. So that's pretty much a quick overview of the Final Cut Pro 10 application. I will go more into all these other um, icons, all these other buttons later on in the series, but at the minute I'm going to keep it really simple. So now what we want to do is import our, our camera footage in, our video footage into Final Cut. So to do that we'll go up here and we'll create a new event, so it's right click or command click and we'll create a new event. I'm going to name this event and I'm going to name it Final Cut Basics by the way, if I come up here, I can make this bigger or smaller if I choose to. Now what I want to do is import my footage into Final Cut, into this event. So the way to do that is I can just drag the footage, say I've got some footage on my desktop, I can just drag it in and drop it in if I wish to, or I can import it using these two icons here. So I can import files, or I can import from a camera. So I'm going to just import from a camera. So if you've got your camera plugged into your Mac, you can import the footage. 
I've actually got my memory card plugged into my Mac, so I'll just import that in. So we can go Command click and click on all my clips from my camera. So whichever clips I want, it's just Command click, or I can port, import them all if I, if I choose to. So we'll import them all. It's asking me if I want to add it to the existing event which we've just created. Yes, I do. But I could create a new event if I wish to. But I'll add it to the event I've just created. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little icon appearing, a little timer. That's just telling you how long there is till everything's been imported correctly. You can close this window though while I wait. As you see, can see here, we've got a little, tie, a little progress um, timer, which tells you um, how much progress there is to be done. So 100% now, so we're good to go. So that is the footage imported into Final Cut. Now it's in our me media browser. And now we need to create a project. So come down to projects. And then go on to the add sign, the plus sign. And we'll create a new project. So I'm going to call it basic video. And there we go. We're in the basic video. As you can see the title here, so you know which project you're working on. Basic video, and this is the basic video timeline. And this is where I can start um, dragging and dropping the footage into from a media browser.